an optical illusion to protect your PIN number. A technology developed by researchers at New York University could defeat shoulder surfing attacks with a display of an optical illusion. A shoulder surfing attack is when an attacker obtains a person's PIN number by directly looking over their shoulder or by recording the process. The illusion PIN system generates an on-screen keypad with number keys in a certain configuration for the intended user. However, someone viewing the same screen from a distance will see a completely different configuration of number keys. For added security, the system generates different keypad configurations for the intended user every time they log in. An NYU study revealed about 73% of mobile device users surveyed admitted that they had observed someone else's PIN, although not always with malicious intent. Meanwhile, the majority of victims said they were not aware they were being watched. Uh, do we have any privacy left? Shoppers beware! Google is tracking you offline too. A new Google tracking program that links shoppers' offline purchases to their web activity is drawing concerns over privacy and data security and has prompted one privacy watchdog to file a federal complaint. With its store sales measurement program, Google claims it can now prove online ads lead directly to in-store purchases. The company used third-party partnerships to obtain access to the debit and credit card records of 70% of American consumers. The transaction data is encrypted and made anonymous using an algorithm that then matches it to users on Google and other Google-owned services. The tech giant did not disclose the formula it uses to supposedly protect consumer data, but insists the information remains safe and private and that advertisers receive only aggregated information. Google claims users can opt out easily by unchecking certain settings, but these settings are confusing and vague, according to the privacy rights group that wants the program investigated. Critics also worry that Google is putting consumers at risk, since even with encryption, the data could be hacked or breached. Your Roomba isn't just collecting dust. The maker of the Roomba robot vacuum iRobot says they could share or sell maps of users' homes to tech companies such as Amazon for profit. The Roomba robot vacuum is equipped with a camera and short-range infrared or laser sensors to detect and avoid obstacles when navigating around a home. Its simultaneous localization and mapping technology allows it to build a map of the home while keeping track of its own location. Robotics experts say such detailed mapping technology could enhance existing smart home devices by letting them learn more about their physical environment. However, the maps could also be sold to tech giants such as Amazon, Apple, and Google's parent company Alphabet. If so, this could undermine users' privacy. The CEO of iRobot says the company would not sell the data without customers' consent, but he is confident that most people would agree to it if they want to access smart home functions. Facebook knows all your browsing habits. A U.S. judge has dismissed a lawsuit against Facebook that accuses it of tracking users' browsing activities even after they've logged out of their account, with the judge saying plaintiffs could have kept their online activity private but chose not to. Websites create small text files known as cookies that are stored in the user's computers. These allow websites to recognize the users and their preferences. Cookies are usually deleted after users leave certain websites. Facebook has promised that cookies are deleted when users log out. However, the site continues to store user data such as account IDs. Facebook also tracks users through third-party websites that feature the Facebook like buttons. When users visit web pages with embedded like buttons, the browser automatically sends information to both Facebook and the server of the web page. Facebook started using web browsing data for interest-based advertising in 2014, which displays ads for products that users have already been looking at in their Facebook feed. Users can choose to opt out of this type of advertising by modifying their account settings. This is how your smart TV spies on you. WikiLeaks' latest documents allege the CIA developed a secret hacking program that can turn smart TVs into bugging devices. Smart TVs are often equipped with cameras, microphones, and internal memories, and can connect to the internet. WikiLeaks says the CIA's Weeping Angel hack can place the smart TV in fake off mode, leading the owner to believe the TV is off when it's actually on. The TV then operates as a bug. 
It is able to secretly record conversations through the camera and microphone and send the files to a CIA server. Samsung's F8000 series smart TVs were allegedly hacked by the CIA. Vizio, which has sold more than 11 million smart TVs since 2010, was fined $2.2 million last month after it was found to have been tracking audience habits without asking permission first. LG's current smart TVs do not collect user data, but the older models do. Internet-connected Barbie alarms privacy advocates. After a year of plummeting profits, Mattel has announced an interactive Barbie doll, sales of which the company hopes will reverse its fortunes. But privacy advocates are worried. Mattel's new doll, called Hello Barbie, can understand speech and is able to reply conversationally. When a button on the doll is pressed, it records the user's speech, then sends the recording via Wi-Fi internet connection to a cloud server. The server recognizes the speech and sends a reply back to be spoken by the doll. The servers retain information from past conversations with the user, which the toy uses to personalize conversation. Audio files recorded by the doll can also be emailed to parents automatically so they can review the recording's contents. Privacy advocates warn the same features which make the toy interactive also make it a surveillance device. Mattel Inc. says their company respects customers' privacy and the Hello Barbie toy complies with the U.S. government's standards for information security.